You're listening to the Confidence Shift Podcast. I'm your host, Michelle Charles Gustafson. I'm a former award-winning direct sales entrepreneur who achieved everything you think you want in a business, plus a little burnout and depression on the side. But using my degree in marketing strategy, expertise in personal branding, and my creative self-development process, I healed myself by shifting my confidence, starting with how I saw myself in the mirror. Now, as a certified image consultant and international confidence coach, I run a life-changing internet business and online community showing purpose-driven female entrepreneurs, professionals, and community influencers to toss out the old dress-for-style mentality and shift into the image, mindset, success connection that crushes self-doubt and creates maximum visibility for your goals. Each episode, I share lessons, stories, and personal musings from my life as an entrepreneur, wife, and mom, all aimed at helping you see yourself differently so you can live a life filled with more intention, joy, and success. I'm glad you're here. Let's jump in. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Today, you can probably tell by my voice that I'm a little more mellow than I normally am on the podcast. It's for good reason. I recently just came back from my fall sabbatical. And if you've been following me for a little while, you know I take to a year. And so today I wanted to come to you and just talk to you a little bit about this idea of time. You know, we are all hear these cliches, the idea that time is fleeting and that it escapes us, it slips by. And all of these are about how much time we don't have, or that it's never enough, or for whatever reason, it seems to be working against us. And if you look around, you can see this hurried conventional wisdom around us. And in light of that, because time is such a precious commodity that slips by, we really are encouraged to do things like spend time with people, um, make the moment last with others. And you know what? Yeah, it's a good idea. But you know what makes it even better? Is when you spend time with yourself first. Listen, most people, women in particular, give their time to things outside themselves as a priority. And when you do that, you start to notice things that don't serve you after a time. Things like broken boundaries or a disconnection with what you need for yourself. You might be questioning your own definition of success, looking at others and comparing yourself. And it stifles your ability to make progress that is meaningful for you in business, life, fulfillment, parenting, whatever it is. But when you can spend time with yourself that is meaningful, productive, that is deepening, as I call it, there is a refreshing sense of joy no matter what your role, no matter who you are to other people. And you're able to make decisions that fuel your growth. You're able to reclaim your assertiveness and really ask for what you need and what you know is right for you. So in a 2018 study on time use from the American Bureau of Labor Statistics, it showed that on average, 49% of women did housework, like cleaning and laundry, compared to just 20% of men. And that 69% of women did the food prep and the cleanup, compared with 46% of men. And on average, they did these tasks about two and a half hours a day. And the reason why I bring that up is because two and a half hours a day of just the housework. And if you've been hanging around me a while, you know that I'll say that we as women have like eight jobs. So that's just the one job of like housework and some food prep. This is not talking about childcare. This is not talking about extracurricular stuff. It's not talking about uh, being a part of your community. It's not talking about anything else except for two and a half hours of food prep and housework. On top of, let's say, the average seven and something hours of work every day, that's like a lot of hours. 
that are put to things that are outside yourself. And how many hours do you have left for yourself? Think about that. When you break it down, think about that. And how long then have you been doing it? So every year I take two sabbaticals, one in the spring and one in the fall. This past little while, I took my fall sabbatical. And this year I spent it all on my own with a handful of my invited clients to share the process I use to reclaim my time and my headspace. And in that time, guys, I did all the things, all the things that make my heart sing. The Michelle of Michelle. And I mean, I did it all. I won't go into all, but they were all things that made me feel absolutely silly, giddy, and blissful including dancing a salsa, merengue, bachata, cumbia for four hours <laughs> with strangers I had never met yet, made new friends and my feet hurt with the best kind of blissful hurt. It is absolutely magical and my clients will say the same when you experience a true process of sabbatical that refreshes you so much it feels magical. Because it is centered on this one thing, that the most valuable time you can ever spend isn't with anyone outside yourself. It's with you and the real you. With all the jobs and obligations, when was the last time you spent longer than an hour or two with yourself? Not with girlfriends, not with colleagues, not with people you work with, not with your family, not with your kids, not with your husband, your Self, capital S. Can you remember? It can be hard to remember, but you're not alone. I find the best results for myself and for my clients, for clarity that is healing, joyful, and that produces confidence that literally feels like magic when you return home, comes after about 72 hours, 96 if you can get it. Think about that. Have you ever, since you left home, spent that amount of time with yourself in a quest to hear yourself? When you experience quality time with yourself, you hear from that self, capital S. Then when you have a process that lets you hear that self and helps you put what you hear in a framework that promotes forward growth, you get massive massive results, and massive locked up potential unleashed. Things you will know when you get this conversation with yourself right are, when you sit with yourself, you'll know what she sounds like. She has a different voice than the one who runs your every day or gets all of your tasks done. It's a different voice. You'll know her tone of voice. You'll know when the last time you met her. You will know how to invite her in to have a chat. And you'll know what she really wants to impart on you that can help you be a happier, healthier, more productive you. And the best part is you'll know exactly what it takes to have fun with her that refreshes your spirit, renews your heart, and sets you on a track that, when my mom says it, ain't no telling what she can do. If you couldn't remember the last time you spent at least 72 hours with yourself, check in with your mindset right now in your life? Are you focused? Are you content? Are you growing? Or do you flounder in decisions? Do you find yourself a people pleaser? Or do you feel you have obligations from too many places and too many people outside yourself? Check in. It is possible to create a practice that supports renewed confidence, that feels like magic, but you will need to spend time with yourself to meet yourself again, to hear it from the best places of your truest heart. Check in. I wonder what you'll hear. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Right now, I want to tell you that I am so excited because you can tap into renewed confidence like the kind I spoke about here with a powerful process in a brand new program I call the Magic Confidence project. The project isn't even out yet, but you can visit magicconfidenceproject.com 
and sign up for my waiting list because when the doors fly open for a limited time, I'm only accepting a limited number for a limited time for this amazing cycle one of my brand new program. You will not want to miss it. If you've been following me a while, you know you need a reset. Go to www.magicconfidenceproject.com and be the first notified when my brand new confidence shifting program opens. Run, don't walk. Magicconfidenceproject.com. We'll see you there.